Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we've got another NHL slate we're going to be going over. Only a five-game slate, so we had two low uh, low amount of game days, which it's always nice to take a little bit of a breather, but we still got some spots I like to try to make some money on this slate. So before we get into the video, before we get into the recap of what happened yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. Uh, you can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. We also have a Discord link, uh, Discord chat. If you want the link to that, will be in the description below, as well as our merch site, where if you guys want to get some Earl Sports Bets merch, the link to that will be in the description of the video down below as well. And as always, leave your best bet in the comment section below for the NHL tonight. All right, quick uh, recap of what happened yesterday. Another meh day. Uh, Philadelphia couldn't get the job done. They lost four to three to the Devils. Not a uh, good, not a good game for them. Uh, Florida and Chicago, the over six. Uh, they were uh, Chicago almost scored an empty net goal, which would have been a push, which I would have been fine with. But uh, they 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 got defended pretty well on the uh, empty net attempt and missed. And then uh, Tampa Bay did hit in regulation. I forgot to put the score to that game. It was uh, two to one, I believe. So uh, we got the money there with Tampa Bay on the regulation line. So we went one and two yesterday, one fifty five and one thirty eight. Uh, so we are hitting at around fifty three percent, and uh, we're going to try to continue to do that. Uh, try to increase that number today as we are looking over five games we have three plays I'm looking at for today that I like for this card uh, starting it off with the Calgary Flames and the Ottawa Senators minus 170 for the Flames plus 153 for the Senators uh, over under of six goals about uh, pick them there and so looking at this matchup it's gonna be Jacob Markstrom versus Philippe Gustafson uh, Gustafson looked really good in his first game, only allowing one goal in the 2-1 to one win for the Senators. Uh, but I feel like this is a bounce-back spot for them. Uh, for uh, Calgary here, uh, I feel like they don't. They are going to end this road trip on a win and go back to Calgary with a 2-2 two two road trip. Uh, but we're not looking to back them on the, uh, the minus 170 here. I think that's just way too much to uh, do. So we're going to go look at the, uh, it's now minus 120. I, I got it at minus 115. It's now minus 120. I'm still okay with that. I feel like this Calgary Flames team gets the win tonight in regulation. So we're going to be taking them on the regulation line, minus 120. They get the job done, and they get the win tonight uh, versus this lowly Ottawa team, which actually has looked pretty good at home this year. But uh, we're going to be taking the Flames here on that line. Did that line move again? No. Okay. Because so I saw it move down to... Oh, it's minus 167 now. So, uh... Now we have Minnesota taking on the Anaheim Ducks. Minus 243 for the Ducks. Plus two six Or minus 243 for the Wild. Plus 216 for the Ducks. Over under of five and a half goals for this one. And looking at this matchup, it's going to be Ryan Miller and Cabo Kakinen. Uh, and looking at uh, what happened in the last game, I believe the Wild won uh, in that game. And this Wild team is just a much superior team to this Anaheim team. I don't really see any uh, Anaheim games that I want to bet on this Ducks team. Plus 216, that's a huge price. I was joking around earlier. I was looking at it. Uh, I, I looked at Buffalo and Anaheim parlay them together. And you can get plus 975 on that. So if you're wild, not not for Minnesota, but for Anaheim and Buffalo, if you think they're somehow going to get wins tonight, um, that's an interesting parlay. I'm not even thinking about it, though, um, other than to joke around. But uh, this Anaheim Ducks team not looked good. They're 3-6-1 in their last 10 games, so they've played slightly better uh, with those three wins in the last 10, days, uh, 10 games. But uh, this is not a team I want to back. This Minnesota team, I think, is for real. They're seven and three in their last ten games. Cam Talbot's look good. Cabo Cockadins look great. It's 12-5-0 for Cockadin, 921 save percentage, 2.29 goals allowed per game. 
This uh, Minnesota team is playing great defense, 2.53 goals per game. I lean towards the under in this matchup more than anything, but this overall is going to be a pass for me uh, for the side and total. Next, we have the Buffalo Sabres heading to Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins. Minus 273 for the Penguins, plus 242 for the Sabres. Um, and looking at this game, it's going to be Dustin Tokarski, Tokarski taking on Tristan Yari over under our yeah for this game it's gonna be another pass here uh i have no interest in betting this buffalo team if i were to look to bet this buffalo team it wouldn't be today it would be tomorrow look at that plus 273 there i don't think that'll be there tomorrow i think they'll be down to that plus 240 range so if you want to hop on this early linus olmark will be back tomorrow i believe so it's gonna be interesting to see how they can adjust and maybe potentially win a game and it'll probably be Casey DeSmith for that game for but, uh, Pittsburgh. And they're missing some players. Uh, they're missing Bluger. They're missing Malkin. So this Pittsburgh team, I'm not overly confident in play, uh, picking. I'm not playing them tonight. This minus 273 line is just way too much to even think about trying to uh, do anything with. Minus 118 on a puck line is absolutely absurd. And uh, I, I want nothing to do with this game. Buffalo is not a team I want to back whatsoever. And... Uh, yeah, give me give me nothing in this game. This is an absolute uh, hardest of passes here. Maybe it, the only play here would be Penguins on a Hail Mary parlay for today. That's about it. Uh, but heading to the next game here, we have the LA Kings and the San Jose Sharks. Uh, minus 106, minus 104. Ta uh, pick them, basically. Uh, projecting Jonathan Quick versus Martin Jones. Martin Jones has looked good the last few games. I believe he's only given one goal, given up one goal in the last three games. He's now 9-6-2 with, with an 897 save percentage, 3.30 goals allowed per game. And uh, looking at this game, uh, this is a bounce-back spot for me. I'm going right back to the Kings here. They lost 2-1 to one the other night to this Sharks team. I don't see them losing back-to-back -back games to the Sharks team at all. I think this Kings team comes, they shows up, and uh, they, they play well. And they get the win here. I, I, I like them at minus 102. I have no problem with them at minus 104. I feel like this is a team that is a play-on team right, uh, for today. I really like the Kings in this spot. On the minus 104 uh, line here. And, uh, yeah, give me the uh, Kings. To get the job done today. And our final game of the day. Is going to be the Winnipeg Jets. And the uh, Vancouver Canucks. Minus 139 for the Jets. Plus 126 for the Canucks. I believe Bo Horvat is questionable. So that could be an interesting uh, thing to keep an eye out for. It's going to be Thatcher Demko and Connor Hellebuck. Most likely. Hellebuck's looked good this year. 14, 9, and 2. 9, 13 save percentage. 2.72 goals a lot per game. He's still a really good goalie. Uh, he just sees a lot of shots. And this Winnipeg team has looked really good this year. They're 19, 11, and 2. They're 9, 6, and 1 on the road. And I, I like this uh, I like this uh, Winnipeg team. Ooh, I think it's just a uh, far superior team than Vancouver this year. And looking at the... Uh, the, I think the only path to victory really for this Vancouver team tonight is if uh, Thatcher Demko stands on his head and uh, and they get like a maybe a two nothing win or a two to one win. I don't see Vancouver really having much of a shot in this game. Uh, Winnipeg beat them last game for nothing, and I think we're going to see a little bit more of the same this game as Winnipeg. I think we'll get the win here. Plus one seventy on the puck line is not half bad either. So uh, I like the Winnipeg Jets here, though. Minus 139 versus the Calgary, or versus Van Vancouver Canucks. All right, quick little recap of our plays for today. We are going with the Winnipeg Jets at minus 139. We're going with the LA Kings at minus 104. And we're going with the Calgary Flames on the regulation line at minus 120. If this information was helpful to you guys, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at All Sports Bets. Uh, I believe we're up to 525 subscribers now, so uh, thank you guys for that. But that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as always. 
and let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NHL tonight. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.